Victoria. Okay. <laughs> you have to smile. Yes. We are live. Live. Coming to you live from Melbourne, Australia, 8 a.m. Monday through Friday, or Monday through Friday, probably not yours, unless you're close by. Unless you're yummy ass. Hello, Joe. Joe's Glass. Welcome to today's show. So, so close. That's great. Leah. Heidi. Heidi. Patty. Patty Paula. Paula. Patty Paula. <laughs> Heidi. This is, Hello. My God, I just go back to romper room. <laughs> <laughs> romper room. Yummy. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, this is just good. <laughs> Episode 425, The Problems and with the Promise. Another adventure Bob. weird manifesting. Brisket Bob has joined the show. Oh, this is going to be great. Today we're going to talk about the third great revelation and the fourth probably. Revelation. Revelation. Relevation. Relevation, the fourth <laughs> great relevation. And I, I got my toes out. Now we Hello Day, yeah. Evie. Now the only Daniela. reason that I do the show in my bare feet is so I can count. And that's because we are we have a base ten system. However, if I was computer programming and the numbers were all zeros and ones, that would be a binary system. It'd be a very different situation, Yasmin Maxwell. It would. Hello that's Stella Jim. Right. Stella Jim has joined the show. Yeah. That's right. Who said you oh, can't have suddenly humor? went lighter. Did yeah, you see that? That was amazing. Yeah. So did the sun, maybe. Uh, oh, maybe it twisted slightly. Yeah, slightly. That's fine. Table, lean forward. Let me just see what happens. Okay, so. <laughs> well, look at that. Brighter. I know. That's just cool. <laughs> okay. All right. Then there was that year, year and a half where I couldn't pull floppy disks or stuff. I just erased them. <laughs> it's a very sparkly scarf, isn't uh, it, Idy? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Mm. Uh, see. Stella Jim has joined this show as well. All right, so shall we do the housekeeping while our friends all yeah, join? Yeah, go and to freenevil.com. That's right. While you're there, can you go to see where focus? Join us in manifestingmastery.com. That's right. But course.com. Manifestingmasterycourse.com. That's right. That's right. Hello, Angela and Max. Meanwhile, Max Shank. And Angie. Go to philatrefund.com. Watch all the refunds today, my friend. <laughs> all 425 of them. So if that's an average of 20 minutes, 500 views each. We're coming up to 500 shows. <laughs> I know. Ain't that going to be cool? Yeah. We're going to have a celebration then. Celebration. That's right. So that means 75, that means in 15 weeks. Is that right? 15 weeks. Could be. Yes. 15 weeks. That'll be before Which April. Which is, though. yeah, no, I was just thinking that because that's like. Come um, down in April, guys. Three. Details coming soon. Well, Victoria does math. You should have taken sort your shoes three off. Three months. See, she's December, running. January, February. See, you, you, get beyond, you get beyond ten. You know. <laughs> no, I just <laughs> go off in my own world. Hello, Andrew Maxwell. <laughs> Hello, Angela Teresa. Andrew Maxwell. <clears throat> cool. Are you back? Mm. Let us know. Morning munchies. <laughs> <laughs> the morning munchkins. Oh, munchkins. All right. So, Victoria. Oh, munchkins. <laughs> so, shall yes. we dive in with a recap and a quote? Does that sound like fun? Yeah, so this is winding up the weird manifesting week, is it? Absolutely. All the weird stuff that I'd love to talk about every day, but they haven't bothered. Yeah. Uh, I hate boring conversation. Honest <laughs> to God. Tell me about the Jets, right? Obama, Trump. Are you serious? <laughs> what are we talking about that for? I, I'm just saying, I don't like boring conversation. This is oh, cool boring shit, right? conversations. Yeah, real life. So, yeah. anyway. Yes. We started the week talking about time. We did. Right. With a few presuppositions, the first one being consciousness is what? The only reality. Your awareness of being is what? God. And how you're aware of being determines what? Everything. <laughs> Everything, <laughs> right? Yes. So we started there. We explored the fact that still most people that walk around saying that, uh, and cool, right? Explore this. Yes. But explore that you even give fact to time. Time is within consciousness. It's not, I'm a, I am conscious that it's taking a long time. <laughs> I wonder why. Yeah. Right? God, there was a comment on the group yesterday about anything worth having is worth waiting for. Holy shit. Ah, hmm. I, I just want to take a flamethrower to that stuff. Just is it, isn't it true? Yeah. Tell, you know what's great to have? A good pizza. You know what we're going to do? Have it when we're fucking 90. Right? <laughs> what? <laughs> Right, it's worth waiting for, mm. right? Isn't it? Uh, Sex, right? Well, Let's I... wait until we're 150 and try it for the first time. <laughs> why? Because it's well worth why it. If it's, if it's worth something? having, it's worth waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm serious. Oh my, oh my God, I lose my mind. I seriously do, as you can tell. <laughs> then we moved on to day two. We talked about what? Attention. Oh, she actually paid attention. This is great. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Yeah, right, right. And yes. guess what? Right. Uh, if you're craving attention, mm -hmm. right, uh, it's just like looking for signs. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you're looking for signs, you know where you feel the power is? Outside of you. Uh, it's outside of you. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> we did something on day three. Does anybody have a clue? What are we doing on day three? I don't quite remember. Uh, what a reward if you said something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Eyes in the back of the head. Day. Oh, that yes. Little thing of perceiving from everywhere. Yeah. By the way, if you want to have some fun, right, when the granddaughter was born, I would put my attention on anywhere but her face while talking to her, right? <laughs> Most people, they do this. Hello, Victoria. How are you? Right? Yeah, and it makes right. people like, whoa. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Versus I'd look at the you know, the little squiggly thing and uh, that you then would later walk. Peppy, what about this? Peppy, what about that? And I'd put my attention anywhere on her, but except for just her eyes or her face, right? Mm. Just for fun. Yeah, you can play so many lovely games with attention. And then yesterday, what did we talk about yesterday, Victoria? It was good fun. Dark night of the soul. We that's, talked about Mother Teresa. That's right. That was good fun. Stuff like that. Mm. Yeah. Where your concept and the of times you. that you've experienced it. Yep. In your life as well. Yeah. Concept of you, concept of God, both got to die. Right? Because mm. <laughs> why settle for a concept? Conceptually, there's this thing called the masculine and the feminine. And if we can talk about the conceptualization of the masculine and the feminine, remember, we won't have sex because we're talking about the masculine and the feminine and we're entertaining the concepts thereof but anything worth having is worth waiting for even a concept so we shouldn't even talk about this till we're very old and the things don't work no more right you get it yeah. crazy <laughs> yeah. angela calls that the serial killer state That's yes right. hello nj glad oh, you joined yeah. right uh, speaking of serial yes i'm not and Peter. Walkers. hello all right. And Dev. <laughs> Serial killers look look straight into your eyes and never look away. That's right. You know, I remember the first time I went to the Holy Confession with the priest. <laughs> yeah, it was screen optional back then. Uh, so we could do it face to face. I remember my mom saying, are you going to do it face to face with him? <laughs> I don't think so. Right. Yeah. Come on. All right. So today, after Emma jumps up, Come one, two, three. Andrew Come on, Dad. Baba. Yay! Let's do it. Come on. Come on. We just did the recap. We got 21 people left. Yeah. <laughs> That's and not 21 people left. No. So remember, words matter. 21 yeah. people left. Inflection. Yeah, that's important. All right. Are you coming up, Emmett? Okay. Victoria? Yeah. Read the quote. Okay. Now, the third great revelation <clears throat> that's right. is that of wonderful counselor. And in scripture, the wonderful counselor is associated with a serpent referred to as the wisest of all of God's creations. It was the serpent who suggested eating of the tree of knowledge. And when told he would die, the serpent said, no, you will not truly die. For God knows that when you eat it, of it, your eyes will be opened and you'll be like God, knowing good and evil. The wonderful counselor did not die for believing, for believing himself to be you. He experienced death but did not really die. Oh, so is that what we're talking about like yesterday with the dark night of the soul and stuff, that the concept of you has to die? Oh, uh, yes and no. On. Just sort of... One, two, three. Do, do, do. One, two, three. Come right. on. Come on, Emmett. Okay, we got to focus on the show. Okay. All right. right. Do, 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 do. All right, so Neville goes on here. I don't know where my exact quote is, but he talks about uh, the golden liquid. Okay, there's the fourth title. So he talks about the golden liquid light, the snake, all that good stuff. So uh, before you just look at the comments and talk to them or something. Yes, so Kerry joined. Jenny joined. Hello. <laughs> Glad you could come here. Mm -hmm. uh, Bruce Roop joined. Karen joined. Wow, we've got loads Jenny. of people. Uh, and don't know. Hey, guys, just got in from the gym. Oh, good. Sorry, Peter. We can't smell you, so that's ace. <laughs> All right, so there's no other comments, really. <clears throat> so where is it? Don't it? 
All right. One night as you sleep, something will arouse you, and you will awaken to find yourself in your skull. You will know it's your grave where only the dead are placed, but you will know yourself to be very much alive, so on and so forth. The... God, I had a great quote, guys, and I just can't find it. Anyway, so the Golden Liquid Light Bit, it's in that lecture that we said to check out. That, for some reason, isn't working out for me this morning. So that is, uh, I am the cause. So the whole Golden Liquid Light thing, right? So if you look around at what people call the Kundalini Awakening, uh, you'll oh, find yes. some fascinating things where uh, people have experienced this. I have experienced this, right? Now, here's the problem with that. Whenever you... Uh, experience uh, the third thing, which basically is, yeah, what Neville talks about the lightning strike, golden liquid light, discovering the serpent, yeah, that weaving up the spine, the golden, you know, so on mm, and so forth. Mm. Uh, here's the problem that I noticed that goes along with that. Uh, a lot of people who have experienced that then go, right, what we are is energy. And what you are gives birth to energy, right? So, Here's the whole thing. If you look at the whole package that Neville shared, if you if you look at if you if you are seeking truth, the truth about you, what you what you discover is, first, you're not your physical body. Okay, that is a very valid insight that comes with that experience. Okay, uh -huh. yeah, I know I'm not my physical body. I know she's not. Right? Uh -huh. Nobody, you're not your physical body, but you're not energy either. What you are is, uh, well. That the whole other bits uh, in the promise reveal that you are the one who's given life to everything, right? And the fourth thing that Neville talks about is the descending of the dove, where you get the, the title or the experience of the Prince of Peace. And this is really important because if you experience, uh, you know, the that we'll just call it that for to keep it simple right <laughs> and you stop there uh what you know you, you basically go right what i am is energy what we are is energy energy is it right uh vibration so on and so forth uh you miss the next part because almost everybody that tells me that what we are is energy uh when they correspond with me privately or talk to me face to face they are crazy stressed out because they haven't gone to that fourth experience, which is the Prince of Peace. You know you're the Prince of Peace, okay, whenever you get that you are uh, the father of David. I, uh, Everyone is, right? So whenever you experience that, and again, the symbology may vary, but you get, you, you know what, you know, we are the father. Whenever you actually get that, and you go through this series of experiences or understandings or reunions or shifts, whatever you want to call them, they're very real, right? Uh, you can't help but experience a profound peace, even when you're losing it. I mean, like, Bruce got hurt. I'm a little upset when my dog's bleeding out in front of me, right? Mm -hmm. uh, applying first aid, but at the same time, there's this supreme calm there. It's not that, did I lose it? I was a little no, commanding, of well, course. Yes, you were. Yeah. You commanded the situation. <laughs> yeah, I'm good at that, right? <laughs> but, but, that. <laughs> but, but, but there wasn't a, a oh my God, he's going to die, let's go, let's go, no, you didn't. speed, speed, wreck the car, save the dog, right? No. It, it's like, right, I moved my hand. Yes. Right, bang. What so, needs to happen? So that's more what it was. It was like you, you'd moved to the end, so then it's like what needs to happen right now? And you are able to say to me, get this, do this, do, 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 do. drive. <laughs> drive, yeah, absolutely. And so I, mean, I just became Mrs. Robot. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, you did excellent. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Do, do, do. Yeah. Um, so, sorry, people that experience that Kundalini thing, right? Because um, I don't know that I have, and I know Neville's spoken about it, and a lot of people in the world have experienced the the heat, light, whatever it is, going up the spine through sure. the base of the skull. Yes. Yep. Um, do, so it feels like energy. Does it? Is that why they think this is what we are? Or yeah, there's definitely an energy component to it all. It's like so. So there's the experience of the vibration. I love that Neville says it's a vibration. It's a real vibration. This is not like oh, mm, yep, that feels good. This is called holy fuck, right? <laughs> you know, you literally like Neville says, you know, it feels like you're gonna have a stroke or die or something, right? So very real experience, uh, just as real as the experience of, uh, you know, 
the, the serpent coiled at the base of the spine. I really wish I could find one. Thank you. But can I find it? Because I'm really good at scanning and then you can yeah. focus on the Absolutely. Show. What are the words? What's uh, something on? something like I what I just said. Yeah, well oh, about okay. the about the snake. Uh, yep. Yes. Spine, serpent, snake, stuff okay. like that. Okay. All right. So very real experiences. And the thing is when you have these, okay, whenever you experience the, the fourth one, the wonderful counselor, the prince of peace, uh it's an experience. It, it's a there's a peace, a silence, a stillness uh, that shows up that is beyond words. And it's not that, oh, I'm seeing a dove come down from the sky. No, there's this uh, experience, right? You may or may not see a dove, right? What you will experience is that, you know, like Neville says, literally, he came up, you know, he experienced coming up out of the waters and the heavens parting and the dove descending. What are the waters symbolically? Symbolically, the waters of the psychological truth, getting this like we're talking about this, right? Psychological mm -hmm. truth, you play with this stuff. But once you really experience that, you're out of the waters, right? <laughs> you know, it's not a psychological principle anymore. It's the only way that, uh, here you go. It's not this bit, is that one night as you sleep, something will arouse you or something? Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see. This is one of them. There's a couple in here. Uh, one night as you sleep, something will arouse you, and you will awaken to find yourself in your skull. Uh, no, we... Up there. Up there. Um, lightning. What's this? Oh, yeah, here we go. Uh, people are looking for a lightning to strike on the outside. You know, they're looking at scripture. But it strikes within. Your head is the Mount of Olives. Your body is that which is split from east to west. One half moves north as the other half moves south, leaving a great valley. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here we go. At the base of your spine, you will see a pool of golden liquid pulsing light, which is the blood of God. It's it's not energy, right? Very different here, guys. Uh, do, 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 do. How was I reading that? Fusing with it, okay? You ascend into your skull like a fiery serpent, and your skull reverberates like thunder. Honest to God. So, uh, do, 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 do. Hmm. Yeah, we talked about that. Questions, comments, thoughts. Toss them up, guys. Jose, Buena is here. Hello, Jose. Keep talking, darling. Uh, sorry, I'm reading the other. I was just reading other comments, but this is not really. Uh, Sheena NJ just says, is it in truth of Christ? I year? don't know. I don't have that. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Andrew says he's experiencing that state currently. All right. <coughs> so we'll just close this up. Yep. Hi, Tamika. Yeah. Hi, Zadenka. Glad you could yeah. make Morning, it. Morning, Tamika. Right. All right. So here's the thing. If you try to figure this out, if you try to put it into a paradigm instead of letting it be an experience, uh, this is where I see people get stuck a lot. Mm -hmm. So the whole thing of, uh, you know, they look at all the research with uh, subatomic physics and quantum mechanics and all that stuff, and they go, by the way, people always try to reduce it to the current scientific thing. When radio was the big deal, right? Radio gets invented. Mm -hmm. Look at all the New Age books back then. Anybody who had an experience at all is describing it in terms of transmit radio receive. or something. Exactly. Yeah, right. Right. Uh -huh. This is always how it is. Okay, uh -huh. The internet starts coming on, right? Oh my God, we're all connected, right? Everybody tries to fit it into the current paradigm. Yeah. Okay, don't bother, uh -huh. right? Science is always playing catch up with the mystic. And if you try to put your mystical experience into scientific terms, right, you're going to be going, yes, of course, or... of course we're energy. Yeah. Victoria, <laughs> that, that's what yeah. the quantum physicists say. There's no matter, it's all energy. So that's what we are. That experience, that proves that we're energy. No, it doesn't. Yeah. It reveals the truth about you. Mm. Patty asked, do the experiences always happen in a certain order? I believe I've seen Neville say yes and no on that. Uh, my personal experience and talking to a fair amount of people that have experienced different parts of this, I don't think so. It, it's, you know, and again, this is just me, right? This is the only way I can answer the question. So the I, I've met plenty of people, not plenty, I've met enough people and, and conversed with them online. Uh, that have experienced uh, what yeah, Neville usually talks to is the third thing, right? You know, the, what we just read about, uh, golden liquid light, base of the spine, all that good stuff. Uh, but don't have the understandings 
that go with you know the other experiences you know, getting that you are the father we are the father there is only one child and it refers to us all as father right so so getting that you're not this little localized thing yet you are you're not right you're so like the one big ocean like the one big ocean bit yeah. right so yeah. uh great question mm. dave has joined the show Hello, da, da, da. Dave. Nice to see you, buddy. So, if we were God, Jesus, what would we do? Don't get the question. Uh, try again. <laughs> uh, Bruce, Roop, very interesting topic. I find it fascinating. Yeah. Uh, just yeah. It, it is what it is. So, uh, I guess and the Prince of, of Peace, Peace, right? So, how how was that again? So, for him, he. Yeah, Neville experienced so many days later, like uh, coming out of the waters, the descent of the dove. And again, you know, you know your quote unquote symbology or experience may vary, but I, I'm always looking at the resultant. What's, what's, the, what's the resultant? And the resultant of that uh, for him and for me was peace. Like what came of it is the resultant. Is that right. what you mean? Yep. Yeah, got you. That, like yep. An, an instant peace that even when shit hits the fan never entirely leaves. I mean, like, you know, there can be an upset. Hmm. You know, like you know, we're driving in Victoria's car one night and somebody, boom, yeah, you know, we pulled up to a thing and remember that? Somebody hmm. bumped you. Hmm. And immediately, right, I, I had like three things, you know, take over, right? Yeah, one, you know, assess her, right? Hmm. Two, get out of the car, talk to the guy, get his attention so he doesn't walk out in shock in the traffic, right? So situation commander shows up. But during all that, it wasn't like, oh, my God, are you okay? We're screwed. I hope the car isn't screwed. Yeah, no. There was none no. of that. I mean, it was like, right, I know the car's okay. Yeah, I, I will do an assessment of everything of everything because I know the end, right? It, but yeah, let's just do a quick check on everything. So, boom. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> Angie says, Yeah. Yes, I've only encountered one person who had the Kundalini experience, and it was so recent for them, they seem to be still processing what it occurred. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So when I experienced all that stuff, I walked around, I, sh I shook physically like I had Parkinson's for, uh, I don't know, about a year, year and a half, something like that. See, that's almost like an energy thing as well. You know how we talk sure. about like when we feel ourselves shake Absolutely. energetically, do you know yep. what I mean, on the inside or something. Yep. That's, I think, why, because I know um, Angela asked ages ago, well, if it's not energy, what is it, then? you know, but like, you're just saying now it's almost like we don't need to nail what it is, what it is and if yep. you're going to are you going to try and squeeze it into that science paradigm yep instead what's the resultant yep from it all yeah that that to me is the most one of the most important things because if i would have gone oh i know the answer quantum physics is it's energy it's energy yeah i go on the line and the guy that's wearing the robe and and he's talking in all these lovely mystical calm phrases all the time like a very good <laughs> hypnotist says that it's energy and you can just watch him hold the anger in it's oh. energy <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. meanwhile i just yeah. go right something freaking happened right so yeah. let's just enjoy the ride and see what it is so you walked around for months did you say probably about a year year and a half a year year and a half oh yeah. wow if i was if i was a little Wait, what, it, when was this what you just rough, like late 90s right. so if i was i could stop it but if i but it but it felt good i mean if i just relaxed a little bit the whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it was great i mean I'd, I'd i'd leave the house and you know vibrate my way looking like a parkinson's patient walking down to the park do some tai chi shake all over the place come back Ooh, this is good fun uh but uh <laughs> it was just yeah there was a definitely let's say a change in energy right uh and a change physiologically but it wasn't a uh, match conclusion what we are is energy. Again, that to me is where the problem shows up there. And uh, second thing, I'll just toss this out in case it's useful for someone. Uh, that's when I really got into taking naps every day because like every day it literally felt like my head was being pried open and uh, I would have to take a nap like now, <laughs> right? Literally. It was like the you know the band was there or it was here it, that would vary. It was so like band a, was here and what was there? Like the, like yeah like literally like there was like a band either like a little uh, what do they call it yarmulke? Oh, little Jewish yeah, caps. yeah like a Jewish cap yeah. or like a sweatband yeah that would vary depending upon uh, 
How intense it was or something. Eh, just let's say any random Tuesday could be either or. <laughs> okay. uh, but literally every like mid afternoon, it was absolute shutdown time because uh, that just felt like that was happening. So uh, this is got some great Hi, questions. Some, Jamal, <laughs> glad you joined. You might want to watch it from the beginning. Absolutely, right, this is one of the weird shows. Yeah. Carrie, Does it really feel hey. like if Yes. My new friend Carrie smokes lovely cigars. We were having a chat this morning. Carrie, do you? That's right. All right. Practical steps to bring this about. Don't try. <clears throat> yeah. I, I see people trying to force it, you know, using breathing techniques or something like that, trying to make something physical to have something spiritual happen. Uh, those to me seem to be the people that experience the roughest ride because they, they're getting it backwards uh, versus just, no, this is your, uh, it, at some point, yeah, and I'll agree with Neville. Neville says you will experience these things. Uh, you know, you'll experience, you know, yeah, I'll phrase it a little bit differently. You'll experience these understandings in the physical events, or quote unquote, associated with them, the mental events, however you want to look at it. But uh, yeah, don't try to bring it about. Yeah, here's the thing. I've mentioned this, I think, yesterday. It was the hunger for truth, the devotion for truth. I didn't want to walk around going, okay, what are we? They say energy, that works for me. Right? Yeah, uh, they say this that works for me. No, I was not interested in what anyone said. It was just right. I, yeah, truth. Truth is an experience, not a platform. So that was the devotion to that that just brought all that about. Sheena was asking, does it feel like you're rotating in both directions when you close your eyes? <laughs> um, but I mean, as you said, everyone's experience can be different anyway. Talk about good fun. Uh, I used to have a problem. Uh, nap time now for me is pretty much dissolved time. It's just a time where there's no localization going on. It's just, right? And so I went through a stage which was good fun. If I shut my eyes and I was in any kind of reverential mood, instantly there's no time, there's no space, there's no me, there's no... And it's sort of like, yeah, there's a spinning like from all directions at once kind of thing. So uh, uh, somebody hired me to do a wedding in Pittsburgh. Right, <laughs> so, so I go to do this wedding, right? And this is good fun. Oh, so I actually, be the celebrant or the photographer? Yeah, uh, right. Celebrant, right? <laughs> okay. So, so I do the wedding. It's good fun. As part of the wedding thing, they give me a couple hundred bucks and a free meal. So this is great. Yeah. So I show up for the couple hundred bucks and the free meal, and uh, lo and behold, they say, "Will you say grace?" I said, "Sure." <laughs> and I <laughs> shut my eyes, and I swear to God, that could have been I could have been there for centuries, right? Because everything stopped, and then I realized, fuck, everything stopped. And they're waiting. For yeah, it's like I, I don't know how long it took. <laughs> Is the food cold? Yeah, it's, it's the like, cold food yeah, warm. Yeah, 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 the eyes were shut. The guy was gone. Uh, talk about good fun. Seriously, that's just that's a that's a memory that I just. Excuse me. Uh, I always enjoy that one. The unknown scares people. Angels are set, or some people. Yeah. So when the unknown becomes known, there's peace and no fear. Totally. And and what's the biggest unknown? The biggest unknown is what are you? Everybody asks that. What am I? What are we? What's the and point what of all this? And what happens when we die? What happens when we die? I reckon that. Yeah. Yeah. And once, <laughs> once you devote yourself to, you know, what happens when we die? Well, you got a heaven, hell, purgatory, uh, limbo, limbo. They, they updated limbo that. land. Oh, that's yeah. in the dance. Isn't <laughs> yeah. <it? laughs> yeah. The limbo. It's a, so they got rid of limbo, from what I understand. I remember my mom telling me that. They, they really did. Was that part of it for a while? Oh, part of the uh, Catholic. Oh. Religion. Right. Sorry, so you either went to heaven, hell, purgatory, or limbo. Purgatory or limbo, which is all right. Yeah, in purgatory, your family can pay money and say prayers to get you out of purgatory. So, in oh. case you weren't a bad, bad girl, oh, that's, right. money that, that, that's where you okay. right. <laughs> And your so, mum, well, yeah. I don't know, she yeah, might remember got, the she, teaspoon. Yeah, she's got right. to sell that spoon, <laughs> yeah, sell the spoon, buy the pearl. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, let's, uh, so does it just come out of the blue? Interesting subject. Uh, yeah. I, I can't say. The only there thing was I, no event that seemed to spark. Or... No. I mean, I, I was playing with a lot of things and just in the pursuit of... What, like LSD? Maybe? No. No. <laughs> no <laughs> just, I'll tell you what. You know, at 50, <laughs> I'm reading stuff about microdosing. That might be a fascinating <laughs> thing, but it's not something that I'd do at this point in time. Uh, or ever. Yeah, but... Uh, not saying it's bad, just wouldn't. I've got a problem when people uh, buy into LSD will cause something. Uh, you you already produce tons of this stuff, <laughs> so uh, yeah, you do, you do it naturally. 
I, I think yeah. the whole thing, does it come out of the blue? It's got to be preceded by some shift in consciousness. The shift in consciousness for me was just the devotion of truth. Yeah, you know, I just had no interest in anything else. I mean, yeah, you know, hell, I was having, yeah, you know, went through the PTSD thing, you know, made money, lost money. So that, uh, that PTSD issue, that all happened before this, was it? Oh, yeah. All right. Absolutely. Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. so, this is great. Yeah. Anybody else, anything? Oh, we got more. Karima is joined. Hello, Karima. All right. Yes, this is hilarious. What part? <laughs> <laughs> She's going to purgatory. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, there Probably. we go. Yep. Hey, don't worry, I'll bail you out. Right? <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll keep an extra 20 on the side and go slip it to the priest just for you. Right? <laughs> just for you. No, I'll buy whiskey. <laughs> I'll <do it>. <laughs> <laughs> Salute. Okay. All right. All right. So I am aware yeah, I that we didn't discuss someone put in holographic something a few days ago. Would like us to talk about that. Oh yeah. I'll definitely fish out that and just um, yeah, re-remind, like put it in front of your face so that we can maybe think about the next week some or sometime we'll talk about it. Or else you just PM. <laughs> oh, let's let's hit it. What the? But so, I don't remember what it was. Holographic. Yeah, holographic memory. Memory. Me it. Seems to me that most people use memory uh, <laughs> as war. <laughs> Why not? They do it with everything else. Uh, instead of so, think about this, right? Memory theory, computer theory, all that stuff. Oh, we've got long-term and short-term memory, right? You've got RAM, you've got RAM, and you've got ROM, right? Oh, fascinating, right? What if, on the other hand, you just had direct access, right? So here's the thing. Watch what's happening with technology. Back when I was in 1982, I took a computer class. I sat next to Tony Truitt, I believe, right? Gorgeous set of legs. <laughs> so it's a female oh, Tony. Yeah, female Tony, right? <laughs> you know, it wasn't like, yo, brother, give me some skin. So, so I'm sitting next to Tony. We're doing the computer classy thing. And they teach us about different different definitions, CPU, ROM, RAM. And back in the old days, we talk, uh, there was random access memory and there was read-only memory, right? And so like the read-only memory is like your long-term memory. It doesn't change, right, really. And then there's random access memory, right? It's the chips, right? So you've got the hard drive and you've got the chips. And uh, people buy into that stuff. Now, let's go way into the future, right? Like, let's talk about now. Guess what? This thing here, apparently it does have ROM and RAM, right? This, mm -hmm. this is a iPad, iPad thing, right? Yes. But the real benefit of this you know, comes from the direct access. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I open it up and it tells me things. You're here. You this say, is what Heidi wrote. Oh my Siri, God! Do this. Yeah, Siri, <laughs> argue with me. Why would I do that, Twenty? Because <laughs> anyway, you should see the conversations mm -hmm. we have. So, uh, here's the thing, right? Memory. Uh, try scrapping that as a concept and just uh, diving into access. Because if you have to go to the library, right? So again, where does memory come from? Well, you go to the library, you get the right book off the right shelf. So you put it in the right slot so you can find it later. Uh, you can see this in psychological theory and memory theory all over the place. Versus uh, what's the answer, right? Uh, the answer shows up you know, as soon as the, qu the question and the answer walk hand in hand, right? So it's a, there's a direct nonverbal knowingness, right? That goes along with all this stuff. And so whenever you surrender to, uh, like, memory, the way most people sort of do it, and so on and so forth, just play with access. How can I access more? <laughs> can I just ask, sorry, because you, you've spoken loads, and m m I think for me, what does holographic memory mean? Because I don't understand. Uh, I think it's supposed to be the whole thing of accessing memory as a hologram. Oh, right. So uh, okay. yeah, it could be entirely wrong with that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I was just yeah, double-checking yeah, that, yeah. maybe. Yeah, right. That's right. So the direct access idea that, um, yeah, so it's almost like, oh, so it's that thing, like, oh, the, anyway, that so we're just surrounded by, the, uh, yeah, it's all, all knowledge is all there. It's all within you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's all you pushed out. Yeah. Now, if all knowledge all knowing this is you pushed out or within you, you know, use whichever direction you want to point the flashlight today. Then what? Oh my God. It doesn't mean, I mean, like, you still, if you want, if I wanted to learn Spanish, I'd have to, you know, 
you know, play with. No, no Esposito, para usted, Angus <laughs> Maxwell. <laughs> no Esposito, para usted, Angus Maxwell. Oh, I know. Well, it's the term I was trying to find, but it, it does. It, it's probably well more for genetic fields because um, right. they were talking about. There's not been loads of different things where suddenly someone just like your direct access if, if we know all things if it's all available to us yep, because all, yep. we're all one yep then um it's sort that would definitely explain so many things but like the, the hundredth monkey that just Love that. That, that, it was a real goodie i don't know if you know the hundredth monkey yeah, really yeah, briefly yeah. what it was was this uh that, that's been proven to be fake i guess has it yep oh but, I proven mean, to be fake proven to be fake Right, that's, no, no, this is just like this is a true story. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can tell who uh, okay. got well, traumatized by Fargo. About that. <laughs> okay, oh, Harry yeah. was enjoy is enjoying the concept of I am God versus the God out there or something. Totally. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Uh, Star Trek holodeck. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. All right. All right. That's it, guys. I guess mm. forget memory. Ah, that's right. Just you know, as long as you can remember to forget to remember that you forgot <laughs> <laughs> to, to forget. Yeah. I remember everything. <laughs> oh, Judy, you All just right, joined, words. and we're just going. All right, Judy, you're gonna have to watch the crazy refund. This is yeah. the longest show ever. I think thirty-six minutes. This it's a like long one. Two shows in a row. And it looks like quite. A few of you are still hung around <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty cool it was a bit of a right. weird topic so yes that's our weird and it was a wonderful week by the way week of wild and weird manifesting or something <laughs> yeah, drop us emails let us know what you thought if you want more of this stuff we'll pass it out from time to time or yeah. maybe uh put together some live calls around it or something <clears throat> yeah let us know it'd be fun yeah. looks like the light's gonna hit the camera any second now so victoria yes let's tell them what you learn? What you learn about you, and what was your best bit? Meanwhile, back at the ranch. Yes, go to freenevel.com, manifestingmasterycourse.com, and for refunds, feelitrealfun.com. Yes, yeah, yes. Okay. Alrighty, we're going to the dog park. We're late. Yes. So we got to get there because he wants to go. Yeah, he wants to go. Bruce and is still hiding inside. He got know. a fright this yeah, morning. Bruce is up too. Anyway, we'll all see right. you guys. Have an ace weekend, day, night, all of that stuff. Love you guys. And see you next week. All right. Okay.